my tongue. I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist me. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh, no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! A memory shard. A container onto which brief mental impressions are projected and stored for years at a time. You don't understand. A memory shard ought to hold its glow for years. And look at it! It's fading! It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? The Adamantine Forge? If it had been found, the name would ring throughout the Underdark. Unless... Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the Forge together. But no. They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the Shard. And now I can claim the Forge alone. They knew of the Forge's defenses, its operation, true enough. But I know its location. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or... almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me, but I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Oh, blood to fill your oceans! Oh, blessed Bohal! Our bones to build your temple in the deep! A wave of pure devotion washes over you, and with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Word priest, promises, your god wants proof, wants blood. These beings are Kuatoa, former Mind Flayer slaves that manifest their gods through sheer belief. You, our lord of murder demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god, Boal. <laughs> That's so cutlet. I'm a god, and I fancy a bit of murder. Simple enough. Well placed. Brawl wants a sacrifice. Brawl wants blood! Someone sneaking up on us. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you. 
before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Fine. I'll let you live. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Told you, hunting. Slave ran away, took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or well, the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slave's got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff. Laughing! I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Good. Do well, and there might be a reward for you back at camp. Do really well, and who knows? Maybe the Absolute will have space for you in her ranks. But that comes later. Boots first, then you'll get what's coming to you. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. Deep Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. Do what you will with a body. I couldn't care less. More are coming. That voice. Do you hear it too? They're coming. That's a Mykonid, and it's warning us. They are coming. You are coming. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation, or your head. Walk away now. I won't warn you again. That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. The bad blood must be purged. A jewel, come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazel. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned.
She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Surrender? A disgusting notion. You would better warm to that notion very rapidly, or your journey ends here. We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Speak. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. And get murdered by a pack of goblins or gnolls instead. Lazel might be a reluctant ally, but she is good at killing. I'll point her in their direction. Oh. I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. A pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. We were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign! She has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Rasi and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Damn, B! Just leave me, B! My canids. Oh. Oh, took pity on me. Sound, lads. Especially since the Grace gave them hell for it. Now that's hospitality. The fungus could teach our druid friends a thing or two. Hmm? Hmm? Dwego! Slashed me! Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Grays. Don't share. Talking hurts. Leave me. Please. Like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. needed it. Why are you helping me? I thank you for your help, but I gotta get moving. Oh, Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. already relieved me of my boots. No hard feelings. Once you used them to free my clan. We can pay too. Don't worry. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in the city. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. I'll mark where I made my escape, and... Uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. Our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I suppose such wicked killers deserve wicked ends. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. 
We will await word. Deep purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Looking at something? The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. What? And what do you see, exactly? Oh, go on. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well... I could do worse. The cub holds out his leg, revealing a ragged wound. inspects the wound, giving it a curious peck. You do realize these things grow, do you not? Teeth and talons first. Scratch's tail wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Nothing. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly.
There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. She asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life. And gave me a new home. With Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least, as best as I can remember. She taught me. Trained me. Punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission, after all. Get the leather. I ain't wasting more words on you until it's done. What a hunt. Maybe you'll find a belt next. Right. I'll mop up here. You get across the Ebon Lake. Find Sergeant Thryn. She'll reward you. Squad of my kin camping in some ruins. Pack of gnome slaves there, too. Not too sharp, are you? Look for a Dwergar with a sound mug and bare feet. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Human, what are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? 
Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining non-stop. What about Gek? Where's he at? <laughs> More like avoiding the sergeant, I reckon. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Sideways. We've got a welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick! Drug no! The twat soul caused a rockfall! Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. Aye. She speaks true. Found the hoon sailing Gek's skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh. I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. <laughs> You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. So... Are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with either, naturally. The last thing I want to do is ruin these nails digging through rock. I could not agree more. To hells with the ball! Nasty way to go. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish.